Hi, I'm the Nordic Investor. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a slightly different video. Today I want to show you the biggest amusement park in South America and it's called Beto Cajero and it's located in Santa Catarina in the south of Brazil. And even though it's the biggest amusement park in South America, it's still tiny compared to Disney World, for example. So the size of Disney World is 100 square kilometers in size, and Beto Cajero is just 14 square kilometers. So it's much, much smaller than Disney World, but it's still a, a decent size, and it's got lots of rides and attractions. And the park is situated in a town called Peña, which is near the coast in Santa Catarina. And it's about a two hour drive from Florinopolis, which is the capital of Santa Catarina, to Beto Cajero. So right now I'm, I'm filming this outside the entrance of Beto Cajero, near the car parks. And so to enter the amusement park, you need to go through this colorful castle. And then in here you've got the ticket sales. I think the same with all amusement parks. If you buy them online, they're a lot cheaper than buying them on the day. So I paid online 120 reais per person, which is $24. But if you were to buy the tickets here, they would be 300 reais. So nearly three times as much. So it's definitely a lot cheaper than going to Disney World. And this is a map of Beto Cajero. So you can see the colorful castle where I entered, which is the, the bottom left. We've got the par car parks. And then the park is kind of split into 11 different themed areas. So they've got partnerships with various companies. So there's like a Madagascar area based on the movie Madagascar, the cartoon movie. They've got a Nerf area where all the rides are based on the, the Nerf toys. You've got Hot Wheels area as well. So in, in total they've got 11 different themed areas. And for us, one day at the park was sufficient to go on most of the rides and see most of the, the things. Okay, so now I'm inside the park, just on the other side of the castle. So I've got this open area here where people take lots of photos. And then from here the kind of the path splits and you can head off to these various themed areas. Beto Cajero has a real mix of rides and attractions. They've got loads of rides for families and small kids. And then they have a couple of rides which are just for kind of older teenagers and adults. So just to show you a couple of the rides. So this one here is the, the log run, which I think most theme parks have. So you get a bit wet on this one. But to be honest, if you go in the summertime, it's so hot that actually it's nice getting a bit wet. So the second one here is called the Madagascar Crazy River. So it's based on the cartoon movie Madagascar. This is for everyone from small kids to, to adults. And you basically go down this river with rapids on these rafts. As you can see here, you just flow down the river. You, most of it, it's pretty calm and pretty slow. There are a couple of sections where it's a bit quicker, but definitely nothing scary about this ride, and actually you don't get very wet either. And you've got statues of all the cartoon characters as you go down the river. And then you have loads of roller coasters as well. So some of them are for small kids, others just for teenagers and, and adults. And so this roller coaster here, small kids could go on. It wasn't very quick or anything. And because of that, I was able to film going down it. And actually going up here, you can see a bit of the rest of the park as well. So there's loads of trees and nature in this park, which I think is really nice. And this ride here, like I said, wasn't very quick. And also very short, I think like 30 seconds and you'd finished the ride already. But then they have much scarier rides as well. So they've got this one here, for example, which is called the Big Tower. And I think you can work out what happens with this. So you kind of just go up to the top and then fall down. Now, I'm going to say that I didn't go on this one because the queues were so long, but that's probably not the truth. I didn't want to go on this one. I was a bit scared. And then they sit at the top a bit 
and then suddenly they're released and they fall down. So I would probably say that was probably one of the, the scariest rides they have in the theme park. Then they have loads of other roller coasters which are a bit more extreme. I mean they're not too scary. But you can see here it kind of goes a bit quicker and does some more loops. And like I said there are loads of themed areas. And so this area here we're walking into here is the Pirate Treasure Island. You've got this lake around it. And I'm actually surprised how nice Pietro Cajero have made these themed areas. So lots of trees and vegetation and it looks very nice actually. But there's definitely a lot of walking. When we went, when we went there it was very hot. So beginning of February it was 35 degrees. So it's super hot, so, so we had to take lots of breaks, drink lots and lots of water. You can see here people are very hot and sweaty. And one of the rides we went on was this pirate ship, it swings backwards and forwards. And as you can see I was totally calmed and not scared at all. Another themed area which is pretty new is the Nerf area. So here they've got loads of rides based on the Nerf toys. And the big ride is this circular thing here which spins and then goes backwards and forwards. On this one again I wasn't able to film going on it because you had to leave everything, all your possessions, in a locker. You had to leave your mobile, your wallet, your glasses, your hat everything you weren't allowed to bring anything onto this ride and this one was actually really fun the combination of spinning and going up and down and backwards and forwards and then in this nerf area you have lots of uh, smaller attractions so you got people here playing nerf arcade games um, then you had a massive nerf shop where you can buy loads of nerf toys which is here on, on the right and then the attraction here on the left for example is for small kids to kind of shoot each other with water pistols so again I thought they did this area really nicely and then another thing they have is a Beto Cajero museum as well where they basically show the life of Beto Cajero, the, the founder of the park. So here you can see the guy dressed as a cowboy. And then inside the museum they show his car that he used to have. Loads of pictures of him and the movies that he did. And then they show loads of his possessions as well. You can also go in and see part of his show that he did in the past. And then in terms of food, so they have this massive circus tent in the middle of the park. And here you got loads of different restaurants and actually you have a carousel in the middle of this food tent. So here you've got a choice of fast food, buffet, restaurants, Chinese, Italian, and the choice is pretty good, but I would say the, the quality of the food isn't that great, and it's pretty expensive as well. So these restaurants are definitely a lot more expensive than your, your normal traditional Brazilian restaurants. But I think that's the case in most theme parks. And then finally, just for those people who want to come here, just a warning that it, um, if you go here in summertime, which we did in February, it gets super, super hot. You need to do a lot of walking in between the rides as well. So just be prepared for the heat. And also in terms of trying to avoid the crowd and stuff, I would say if you can, try and avoid going during the weekends uh, and also during the holidays. So like, so like I said, we went there in, in February, just during the week, I think it was like a Tuesday. Um, 
and it was still pretty busy because it was still the summer holidays here in Brazil but it wasn't that bad. I think the most important tip for anyone who wants to go here is the fact that the park, the rides are very busy in the morning but in the afternoon they get a lot less busy and that's because the theme park has lots of shows and so you've got these shows, you've got a Hot Wheels show, you've got real cars driving around doing stunts, you've got a cowboy show, um, Madagascar show, so you've got various shows and most of them are in the afternoon so loads of people go to these shows in the afternoon which means that the rides are a lot less busy in the afternoon. So actually what we did was we drove to the park, we arrived around 11 a.m. We then just kind of walked around the, the park a bit, uh, did some of these smaller attractions where you don't have to queue. We then got some food and then we hit the bigger rides around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And, and that's when a lot of the shows start and so we didn't have to queue that much. So I think the longest queue for us was half an hour. Now compare that to in the mornings, which were queues for up to two hours. So it's definitely worth waiting to go on the big rides until the afternoon. Now the, you do have one other option, which is buying these VIP passes, which allows you to skip the queues. Um, and they're actually not that expensive. So they range between 100 and 200 reais per person. So between kind of 20 and 40 dollars per person. Now that doesn't allow you to skip the queues on all the rides, but it allows you to skip queues on a couple of rides. It all depends on how much you pay. Now, now we didn't do that, we just went for the strategy of going on the big rides in the afternoon and it was totally calm and we didn't need to spend this extra money. Okay, so overall I really like Beto Cajero. I think with a good mix of rides for families with small kids and for teenagers and, and adults. So if you're ever in this area of Santa Catarina, I would definitely recommend it. So I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like, subscribe. If you've got any questions, leave in the commentary below. So thanks for watching. Until next time.